Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've had a great Thursday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is May the 5th, 2016. It was on this day in 1986 when a 5.9 struck Turkey. 15 were killed, approximately 100 were injured, and over 4,000 houses were damaged. Today is known as Cinco de Mayo, National Hoagie, and Oyster Day. Mm-hmm. All right, Earthquake Report time. Here we go. This week has certainly shaped up to be a quiet one, and today is no exception. As of 6.24 p.m. Eastern Time, we have clocked in only 194 earthquakes. This brings our weekly total to 1,260. This is significantly less than what we experienced this time last year. A year ago today, we clocked in over 446. The strongest to strike the planet then was a 7.5 that hit the New Britain region of Papua New Guinea. This was the result of thrust faulting between the subducting Australian and overriding Pacific plates. The strongest to strike the planet today was a 5.3 that originated along the Central East Pacific rise. This makes the third earthquake to strike this region this week and the most intense. Yemen also experienced a 5.3 today. This was followed up with a 4.4. Finishing out the magnitude 5 earthquakes, we have Indonesia with a 5.1. In total, this region has clocked in 4 earthquakes today, a 4.9, a 4.6, and a 4.5. With these earthquakes being accounted for, this leaves us primarily with earthquake data falling within the United States. It's somewhat concerning that we haven't experienced seismic activity in areas prone to earthquakes. For instance, South America is strangely quiet. Let's hope that this is due to pressure being released via the 5.3 experienced along the central east Pacific rise and not something else. Just as I finished writing this, I received a notification stating that a 5.6 was just experienced in Tomatland, Mexico. This, like the 6.6 we experienced on April the 29th, was at sea, and it isn't likely to have caused injuries or damage. Interesting though. If we look to the states, we see that Hawaii has 5 on the books, the strongest being a 2.7. Speaking of Hawaii, this year marks the 20th anniversary of the geologic map of the island of Hawaii. Hmm. Alaska has experienced 33 earthquakes today, the strongest being a 4.8. No unusual swarms have been experienced at this time. Washington has been strangely quiet. Only four have been reported thus far. The strongest to hit was only a 0.5. Now that is interesting considering that this area has been very active as of late. Hmm. Oregon 2 has been quiet. Only two have been experienced. Both originated from Lakeview, with the most intense being a 1.3. California has clocked in only 59. The strongest to hit was a 3.0 in San Juan Bautista. Outside of this, we have experienced some unusual activity in the following locations, Coachella with 4, Coso Junction with 3, and Idlewild with 5. Interesting. Nevada has been very active when compared to a week ago. Thus far, we have registered 49 today, with 85% originating in or around Gerlach Empire. The strongest to hit the Silver State today was a 3.8 in Bunkerville. Interesting indeed. Montana has 9 earthquakes on the books the average magnitude being only a 0.9. Virginia City actually accounts for 33% of the earthquakes to strike the state today. The strongest to hit, a 2.2, originated in this area. Utah has experienced two today, both of which were very minor, these being a 0.2 in Willard and a magnitude 1 in Park Valley. Oklahoma has been rocked by three, a 3.1 in Blackwell, and Cherokee with a 3.2 and a 2.3. The East Coast, along with the New Madrid Seismic Zone, have been quiet. No earthquakes to report at this time. Finally, our neighbors in Abbotsford, Canada experienced a 1.1, and this just so happens to be our location of interest today. Abbotsford is a city located in British Columbia. This is a fairly large city with a population that exceeds 133,497 as of the 2011 census. 
This area has an interesting history. Abbotsford's development began when the Royal Engineers surveyed the area in response to the gold rush along the Fraser River in 1858. Not only this, but in June 2013, the city of Abbotsford spread chicken manure on a homeless camp located in the city. The Abbotsford mayor, Bruce Bannum, publicly apologized for the incident, but it was not enough to thwart a lawsuit that was launched on behalf of some of the homeless. As a result of this event, the city has formed a homeless action plan, which includes a supportive housing initiative. Isn't that crazy? Chicken manure to disrupt a homeless camp? Jeez. And that is it for the earthquake report. If you experienced an earthquake today, or if you would simply like to chat, please post down below. I would like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Have a great night, guys. Hoorah!